There is no proof in the Quran that مثلاً, Ali was made of light. There are people who believe that Ali radiallahu anhu was made of light. And they believe that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi was made of light. As I said, if we go back to the Quran, we'll be able to solve these issues. There is muhkam in the Quran and mutashabih. This is mentioned in Surah Ali Imran. First page in Surah Ali Imran, Allah talks about muhkam and mutashabih. What is muhkam? Muhkam that ayat that have a clear meaning. One clear meaning. Mutashabih, ayat that might be open to the interpretations. But they said, those who have a sickness in their, in, in their hearts, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, those who have a sickness in their heart, they go to this mutashabih ayat, and they use them as main proofs, and they ignore, they ignore the other ayat that are clear. I'll give you an example. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, that I sent to you nur, light. So some people said, this light could be Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That Allah created him from light. We know that angels are made of light. Angels are made of light. So not Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa not other humans. How can we prove to them from the Quran that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was not made of light? He was just a human being like me and you, like everyone. But Allah selected him and has chosen him as a final message to humanity. And he was ma'soom. This is something that we have to agree about it. Ma'soom infallible there. You go to the end, the last ayah in Surah Al-Kahf. This is one proof. There are many proofs. But this is very clear. Surah Al-Kahf. The last ayah. قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَنَا بَشَرٌ مِثْلُكُمْ قُلْ إِنَّمَا Say, O oh Muhammad, I am only a human being like you. Do you want a proof that is more clear than this one? That Muhammad Sallallahu was a human being. If he is the leader of his family and he was a human being, then we cannot claim that the, his descendants are made of light. They are Nurani family. We call them, they call them Nurani family. That the Nur of Allah came into them. But Rasulullah Sallallahu is saying what? Is receiving wahi from Allah in Surah Al-Kahf at the end of Surah Al-Kahf. قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَنَا بَشَرٌ مِثْلُكُمْ Say, I am only a human being like you. So this is very clear that the nur that Allah talks about it in the other ayat is the light of what? The light of guidance. The Quran is the nur. Why is nur? Why is it light? Because it guides you. We live in darkness. What is the darkness that we live in? When it comes to guidance, we live in darkness. Uh, excuse me to use this term. It's used now in the United States of America. They call it the marketplace of religion. <laughs> if you go to marketplace, what do you find? Different sellers. Everyone trying to convince you that his products and his merchandise is the best. Right? So we have like Ismailis, Zaydis, Shia Twelvers, Ibadis, we have Sunni Muslims, among the Sunni we have Sufis, we have, you know, those who uh, they say we follow Quran and Sunnah, everyone is trying to tell you that our guidance is the best guidance, our sect is the best sect. It's like a marketplace. So as someone who doesn't know, then he will be confused. This is a darkness. This is the darkness that we mean here. This is the light. Allah said, Ja'akum min Allah nur, nur. It's a nur from Allah. And it will guide you. It's like walking physically. Let's see another physical example. Walking in the, in the jungle at night. In a dark place. If you want to reach safely to your destination, what do you need? You need a flashlight. Flashlight, right? And then you'll be able to reach your destination. Because it's dark everywhere. So here on this earth, this is the guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen for us. And he called it Nur. Not Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa yes, his sunnah is Nur. Because his sunnah explained, his life explained the book. But physically, he's a human being like everyone. Everyone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about prophets and messengers that they used to walk in the street, in the market. 
and he, they used to eat and drink. And of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not want to mention something else. When he told us that they used to eat and drink, he meant something else, that they need to relieve themselves like everyone. So they are humans at the end. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala selected them to be role models, to be prophets and messengers, to be guide, teachers for humanity. And they lived as human beings. They got married. They have children. They had children. They experienced life. And this is how we learn from them. If Muhammad Sallallahu was single, didn't have wives, didn't have children, we will not le learn from him how a father should behave with his children, how a husband should behave with his wife. So he was a human being, but he's the best example for humanity. Best example. So as I said, you go to the Quran, you solve the problems. Solve your problems. He was not made of light. And if he was not made of light, and he's the best one, he's better than Ali. You cannot say that Ali is better than Muhammad Sallallahu He's better than Hussein. You cannot tell me that Hussein is better than Muhammad. If Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was not made of light, then Hussein and Ali and the rest of his family were not made of light. They were humans, like the rest of the humans. Some of them were great scholars. Some of them were great people, you know, great Muslims. And some of them, يعني, they were different. They were not, they didn't have all the same level of, uh, of knowledge. And some of them, as I said, his uncle, two uncles, I mentioned two uncles, they died as non-believers, as non-believers. So it's not about a family, it's about a message that is sent to humanity. Hudan lin nas, hudan lin nas, for everyone. If we follow this guidance, the guidance of the Quran, we will be united. We will be united. This division will end within the community.